was there justice? Justice League. Now, Justice League is the latest film by DC in the DC Cinematic Universe. This movie was directed by Zack Snyder, partly, and also Joss Whedon, who gave the credit to Zack Snyder. There's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Coming back with all of the actors, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Ben Affleck as Batman, and there's spoilers and other things. It was very fun. So let me just give you the synopsis of the film. Hey, look, there's a bunch of heroes. Hey, there's an evil thing. Hey, let's fight it. Synopsis. There you go. So they come together, yeah. Let's talk about the things I liked about this film. Things I liked about this film, I really loved the fight choreography was really fun. Like when you're watching all the heroes fight and how it's all working together, it's really the moments when that's happening, you're just jazzed, you can feel the energy, seeing them get thrown, and, and that was really cool. Let's talk about things I didn't like about this film. A whole lot. Now, I struggle in me because I'm a nerd. The internal nerd in me struggled on top of the film critic inside of me going, am I justifying this because I like the comic books or am I judging this as a film? So, both sides of me agreed to the consensus of what I'm going to tell you. We'll start with the film part first. The film, the film part process of it, the script and the structure of the film was bad. Uh, they spoon, they spoon fed you in the beginning, and then they didn't. You, when the movie ended, you didn't feel satisfied with it. That there wasn't enough character development. The characters were different than they were in the other films. The consistency was off. The cinematography was not like it was in the other films, and felt bad. The acting was subpar. The music was taking from the strengths that Hans Zimmer wrote in the old films and didn't balance itself off. <sighs> yeah, let's go with the nerd side. They totally didn't give justice to the Justice League, as ironic as that is. They took elements of the heroes that I love and then they ruined those elements. Batman, instead of making him intelligent, I mean, even in B Batman vs. Superman, spoilers, he crafts Kryptonian weapons to fight Superman. So there's that still that intellect there. He didn't have that in this one. He was just a gadget guy. Um, Flash wasn't super smart. He was just funny. They literally had him in there just to be funny. He didn't do anything else. Wonder Woman was really bad action when you saw her fighting, but other than that, she was just a character that was just there. Like, they, they didn't give any, they didn't give you a reason to care or not care about these characters other than the previous films, and even those, they were caring so much that you would understand the previous films so strongly on this film that it just fell flat. So I'm gonna give it a rating. And it's thumbs down. I struggle. Because I love Justice League. I prefer DC over Marvel. But Marvel cinematically is killing it. DC cinematically is struggling desperately. If you want to watch a good Justice League film, go and watch the DC animated films Justice League. Those are awesome. There's like 10 of them. They're rated PG-13 and up. They're fantastic films. And those really show and they have character and charm. I just It struggles with me that they have a forum such as a graphic novel. And they can't follow the simp simple diagram that they have in a graphic novel. I understand cinematic and taking justices, and I mean, they've really done that a lot in the Marvel Universe, and that's really been a strong suit. Mar DC has has not. They, they, they can't develop these characters to save their lives. I'm hoping that the single-off movies, I loved Wonder Woman, but I couldn't stand her in this film. I'm hoping that the one-off films that they do will hopefully help them adjust their structure and make a better film. But as for this film, I don't, I, I would be okay if I never watched it again. So, parents, it's rated PG-13, and in this film, it's just got violence. There's some scary images, but the CG's really not that great for you to really get the depth and terror of it. The music doesn't back it. It's just, it's a film. If, you, if your kid is seven or eight, he might love this film. This film, I think, if a child is from the ages of 10 to 5, they will love this film. If a child is over that age, there's probably going to be a, well, that wasn't good. Why, why did we go see that? So, I mean, this is a movie... I don't see anything objectionable in this film. There's a couple off jokes, but other than that, this film is pretty clean. Take your kids, go see it, have fun. All right, so that's my review for the Justice League. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the DC universe and the conundrum that it is. Throw that in the comments, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and in the end of the day, the Justice League, sadly to say, is a... Uh,